everything on here has to fit into there. This Lego set is one of my favorite Lego sets. Here it is, built. Hard to come by, so there's a lot of considerations when I'm building this car. I want to produce a lot of these. You'll see later why. And I want to set up directions for anybody who wants to follow along to be able to make one of their own. So the goal with the first car is to have a, as much of it be regular bricks as possible. In order to fit things like, you know, the RC parts, we're going to have to do some custom 3D printed brackets to, or, or I'm calling them adapters, to adapt RC parts to the Legos. So, you know, when I when I first did this, we, we started, started fitting that in. And then I, I, I'm using this as a reference because what we're trying to do is use this, everything on this breadboard, shoving in that car. So we start off by ordering a bunch of Legos. Now they came the right color, but for a different project. So we had to adjust. And I'll fix this better next time. This is just for now to, it's just for now. This isn't the actual, this isn't the actual paint, but it, it's a close approximity of it's matte black. Um, it, it works for right now. I'm going to, I'm going to repaint it later when the, the real paints come in. I already hate myself. Sorry. I feel really bad, but we had to had to had to spray paint those. And and here's what we got. So I've done some preliminary work. Here's the first prototype. This isn't just a black version of that other one. This one it's a little bit longer quite a bit different from the original. You can see that a servo motor is in here. There's also a, an adapter for the brushless DC motor. There's, there, there's some other structural changes. Um, there's, this is the first iteration at adjusting this body frame to hold those RC parts. The next problem is, is fitting the ESC for the DC motor, the Pi, whatever other electronics like the power supply, the Arduino, and the camera. And then having it all work. So there's going to be a few videos coming up. And there'll be, there'll be shorts because they're going to be specific about a specific part and how 
and what the the design philosophy for that part and and what some of those decisions were made when trying to fit things in for example you know this 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 motor goes in and you you bolt it in there i was trying to just replace where the you know pseudo combustion engine is supposed to be with a brushless dc rc motor but as you can see it you know things don't quite quite fit so this bracket we're 3d printing brackets and some of the things to consider and part of the reason i'm breaking this up into multiple videos so we can discuss some of the decision making going on with this i want everybody to be able to produce their own car and there's going to be directions and so I've never done Lego directions before it turns out they're very difficult so what I encountered with doing this is I can build a one-off here's here's a one-off um, relatively easily but it's not reproducible so we're going to make this as reproducible as as possible. Um, one caveat is you will need access to a, a 3D printer, or you can download the files that will be um, will be made available, and you can send them to uh, um, you know have them have them 3D printed for you. One of the reasons why I'm holding off on making the files available is I ran into this one. This was at the the angle of this adapter needed to change by two degrees once I got all the steering and everything in you know and, and, and controlling this motor and testing things so I can show you everything that I'm doing along the way but things will change and things will be will you know there will be existing files and the, the versions of them will change so I'm a couple steps ahead of these videos and that has its own set of challenges but I'm gonna go back and we're gonna we're gonna film some of these things and and discuss like I said in shorts and so you can see kind of the ripple effect of what things have yet at the same time I want to present you with the files that are the the final uh, completed files and directions and so you're not um, you know, you're not making the same. If you followed my, my, I'm trying to present you with, uh, files and steps so that you're not following in my footsteps of along with the same mistakes that I make. So hopefully that makes a lot more sense and stay tuned for the next video because this is getting a lot more fun. <laughs>